I can't believe it. This is episode 23 of How to Pass the Math FSA, third grade edition. Um, it's the last standard. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm happy that I'm almost done providing you instructional moments and opportunities to pass this test because I'm really, really hungry and I would like some lunch. Um, but it makes me really excited because I get to move on to fourth grade next, and I'm really excited about that. So um, in the description box below, if you click on the link, that will take you to my teacher store where you can safely and securely download the same questions that I'm using here, plus more questions that you don't see on this YouTube um, playlist. So. Um, take a look at that but let's get to it guys let me teach you about maths dot three dot G dot one dot one which is a geometry that's what the G stands for geometry unit where we are recognizing shapes and their attributes so this very first question um, says what is the name of a shape that is a quadrilateral but not a rectangle okay well a quadrilateral has four sides. So it needs to have four sides, but it cannot be a rectangle. So three, I'm sorry, not three, a triangle has three sides and therefore is not a quadrilateral because a quadrilateral needs to have four sides. Quad means four. A parallelogram, um, could technically it could be a rectangle but it's usually a little bit more slanty so we'll go that one's going the right way parallelograms means that it has two sets of parallel slide sides but it does not necessarily have to have the right angles that a rectangle has we don't want that right now um, a square has all equal sides and all right angles. So the fact that we have all right angles for a square and the opposite sides are all the same, a square is technically a rectangle. And a pentagon has five sides, so we can eliminate that one. B is our answer. Okay, so example two. Select the attributes that, par that a parallelogram and a rectangle always have in common. So this is a multi-select question. So let me go ahead and jot down and draw, not jot down, but draw what a parallelogram looks like. A parallelogram has all sides that are parallel, which means they're like railroad tracks, and the two sides will never ever touch. So this side and this side if they continued on forever in either direction, they would never touch. So that was what a parallelogram is. And they also have two sets of parallel sides. Same thing here. So these two sides, if they continued on forever, would never touch. And if these two continued on forever, they would never touch. Um, so that's a parallelogram. And then a rectangle has four square corners, also known as right angles. That's the proper name for it. They have, um, and they also have opposite sides are the same. So I'm going to put a tick here to show that this side is the same as that side and that this side is the same as that side. So it's mostly about the opposite sides being the same and that they have four right angles. So let's see what they have in common. Number of sides. A parallelogram has to have one, two, three, four sides and a rectangle also has to have one, two, three, four sides. So that is correct. They both have four sides, always. The opposite sides are the same length. That's true for a parallelogram too. Whatever this side is, this side also has to be and vice versa, and that's the same thing for the rectangle, so B is correct. The angle measures. A rectangle 
always has 90 degree square angles. 90 degree angles or right angles. A parallelogram could, but it doesn't have to always have it. So this one is not correct. Number of angles, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're not the same angles, but the number of angles are four and right angles. A rectangle always has to have right angles, but a parallelogram does not. So A, B, and D would be your answers for this one. All right, example three, match the attributes with the correct shape. Attributes are a fancy word for characteristics. just in case I didn't say that before. Okay, so it looks like this would be the rhombus and this would be a parallelogram. I'm just, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing this just because. All right, so does, a, does this shape always have four equal sides? One, two, three, four, sure does. And so does a parallelogram has four sides, four. All sides are always equal. Well, let me, let's say that I don't have a ruler. Let me get a piece of paper to demonstrate how you could use this. All right. So I'm gonna take my corner and measure the length of this side. It goes from this corner to about right here. Now I'm going to measure here, that's equal, that's equal, and that's equal. So this rhombus has all equal sides. And while I'm at it, the opposite sides are always going to be the same length because if this is two, then all of them are going to be two for a rhombus. Now let's check to see if all the sides are equal for the other shape. Take your corner and measure the length of one side. So about right there, and now measure the other sides. Okay, do you see how my corner, the dot, it's actually longer, it comes right there, and this, this other side was longer. So these are not all equal sides, but for a parallelogram, the opposite sides are indeed the same length. Okay, example four, draw a quadrilateral and just to be clear, this, this standard is mostly talking about quadrilaterals. You may need to know what a triangle is and what a pentagon and a hexagon and an octagon um, to eliminate answers, but the focal point is more on quadrilaterals. So draw a quadrilateral that has two sides the same length and one right angle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw two sides the same length and make those two sides meet at a right angle. So let's go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go the same here, one, two, three, four. There's my right angle. I have my two sides the same length, but I need to make this a quadrilateral, so I need to have four sides. So I'm gonna go like this, doom, and okay ends up being a oh, it needs only one right angle. So if I had an eraser, I would erase that and make it look more like this. So get rid of that little piece. Let me redraw it here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Obviously, if this were a test problem, I would erase it all the way and not draw two, but I want to show you because I messed up, I made a mistake here and I put two right angles when it only needs to be one. There we go. All right. Last problem, example five. Describe the geometric attributes, which is a fancy word for characteristics, that a square and a rectangle have in common. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this out just so I can visually see. I always recommend drawing things out, modeling it in order for it to make more sense. Okay, so this is my square and this is my rectangle. I know that a square has all sides the same length 
and all right angles. And I know that a rectangle has the opposite side the same length and all right angles. Okay, rectangle. All right, so this is an open response question. We haven't seen very many of these throughout, but this is one where you're not just putting one simple answer in there, you're actually writing out a response. So make sure that you use complete sentences. So describe the geometric attributes that a square and a rectangle have in common. A square, and a rectangle both have right all four right angles four sides and the opposite sides are the same length. A square and a rectangle both have all four right angles, four sides, and the opposite sides are the same length. And that, people, is how you do it. Woohoo! All right! This is a wrap, everybody. Episode 23, last standard for how to pass the math FSA grade three. I've got grade four and grade five coming your way. I will get them out as soon as possible. But first, let me leave you with this. Our last motivational thought for grade three. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. I did it today, too. Okay, I knew that I had a lot of episodes to tape today. I knew it was going to be a lot of hard work, and I pushed it, and I pushed it, and now I am hungry. I'm going to go make myself a sandwich, but I will thank myself tomorrow that I did it because, my future self in five minutes I'll thank anyway too, um, because I'm doing this to help you guys, and I'm not even looking for you to thank me. I'm just looking, the purpose for me doing this is to help you, so that's enough, that's enough for me. Okay, so make sure you share this playlist, like this video. I would highly suggest downloading the, um, the, ooh, see I can't even think I'm so hungry. Downloading the How to Pass the Math FSA, the complete guide for third grade. It will help you. I've got answers for you, a free answer key attached to that. Um, it's easy to register. It's really, really quick, simple, bam, bam, you're done and then you have a whole workbook to help you pass this test. So I wish you all luck. I will see you when you become fourth graders, when you nail this test, and later.